How are you gentlemen today? What do we have here? These are some kind of really old currency back in the day. From uh, where? Central America, like Aztec money. They look like little axes. That's what they're apparently called was axe money. I is it a tool or is it money? It's obviously money. How do you know? Some things you just know. You just know? I was put on this earth to just know, and this is one of those things I know. I'm coming into the pawn shop today to sell my Aztec currency. After Grandpa passed away, we'd gone through the garage, all the boxes, and this was just sitting in there. Don't know a whole lot about them, but I believe them to be from the 1500s era. I'm hoping to sell these for 75 for the three of them. These are pretty freaking cool. We're talking 1500s. They didn't have stamped currency in Central America at the time, so it makes perfect sense that this would have been a segue into that. So you think this is Axe money? Yeah. I'm, right off the bat, I got issues with it. There was probably an Aztec guy or a Mayan guy. And he made these. And yeah, he probably traded them for fruits, nuts, beans. And, and that's called bartering. That's not currency. Do you want me to pay you in beer steins? I don't, but I'm sure somebody would. Listen, this is a time before beer steins, Corey. This is copper. <laughs> this is a precious metal. I'll, you can pay me in precious metal no matter what it be. All right? Because precious metal has an actual value to it, unlike a beer stein. I have a hard time buying that it's actually currency. On top of that, any little gift shop you go to in Mexico, they have stuff like this for sale, and it's all novelty stuff. What, what are you looking to do with them, man? Um, I was hoping to get maybe 25 a piece for them, 75 total. 75 bucks? You can't beat that. Just buy these things. I, I don't see the purpose. I'll bet you right now that these are real. Well, what do you want to bet? A car wash. A car wash? Yeah. I'm not washing it. You can drive it to the car wash for all I care. I just don't want to do my car. <laughs> Mine's a deal, wash. car wash. If you want to call in an expert and have them take a look at it, go for it. Look, my guy Dave deals in currency. I'll get him down here. We'll see if these really are from the Aztec period and if they were a currency. And hopefully we'll prove my boss wrong. Sounds good. I appreciate your time. Thank wrong. you. Oh, you're wrong. I feel an expert coming in to look at these would be great. I'm hoping he can settle this for me and settle the bet for the guys. Well, Dave, like I said on the phone, you know, we think these are Aztec Axe money. And I got a bet here with Corey that if I'm right, he's going to go take my car down to the car wash and give me a nice wax. Now, explain to my dim-witted sidekick here that they're not currency. They were tools or something that, that was used in the barter system. Oh, Lord. Well, I'm afraid I have bad news for one of you and good news for one of you. Yes, the, it's a fine line between barter and currency. And in civilizations uh, such as the Aztecs, that line is really, really fine because there was a tremendous amount of barter. They had a thriving economy. They had marketplaces that had 60 or 80,000 merchants. It's amazing. So who's right? Well, it's strange because it's a letter written in 1548. It was written by a Spaniard uh, right about the time of the uh, Spanish conquest of the New World. He actually draws an outline of one of these, describes them. When they had these originally, they polished them up. I mean, really polished them up, and they took on a silvery white appearance. They have the right patina, which gives us a clue that these are absolutely genuine currency. Good news for you and me, right? So what are they worth? You'll find plenty of fakes online. You can probably buy them for $25 all day long. But I would say as authentic examples, these are worth about $150 each or more. Well, it looks like I lost. Fate <laughs> works in mysterious ways. That one document survived just for this moment. Congratulations on your shiny new car. Send me a picture. Thanks for coming down. All right. Thank you much. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. I told you it was worth waiting. Right. Very much. You sure you don't want 25 for all three of them like you did when you <laughs> first came in? No. What, what will you take for them? Mm. How about 100 a piece? Go 50? I'd need to go up from there. I'll tell you what, I got this guy who's gonna be bragging about this all day long. Now I have to wash a car. Do me a favor, take 225, and we'll call it a day. Let's do it. Appreciate it. Thank you much. Show him right him up. Let's I'll get make your sure car shined up. Yeah, you don't have to brag when you're always right, big hoss. 
Ended up settling for 75 a piece, which was much more than what I was hoping for. I still have a few more pieces of memorabilia that Grandpa had that I'd love to have nicely framed, and maybe this money will be a perfect way to get all that stuff done.